The War Veterans Secretary General has called for the recall of President Robert Mugabe and First Secretary of ZANU-PF. In another development, President Jacob Zuma has appointed Defence Minister Nosiviwe Mapisa Ngakula and Minister of State Security Bongani Bongo as his special envoys to Zimbabwe. The President spoke to President Robert Mugabe earlier today, who indicated that he was confined to his home, but said that he was fine. Pretoria is also in contact with the Zimbabwean Defence Force. President Mugabe is reported to have been under lockdown in his property for the past two days. This follows pronouncements by the army that it's targeting criminal elements around him. But he is still commander-in-chief and head of state. The SABC has also reliably been informed that Zimbabwean higher education minister and longtime Mugabe ally, Professor Jonathan Moyer is also under house arrest. The army is rounding up members of the so-called G40 that is reportedly backing First Lady Grace Mugabe to be the next vice president. It's also reported all military strategic locations have been secured and the command center has moved to Masfingo. As SADC, we are very concerned about the situation in Zimbabwe. We would like to call for calm and restraint <clears throat> particularly to the Defence Force and all security forces in Zimbabwe. I have also <clears throat> contacted His Excellency President Mugabe, <clears throat> whom I had time to talk to, and he is fine but confined in his home. <clears throat> I have also managed to get <clears throat> The briefing about the situation in Zimbabwe, <clears throat> but of course, given the seriousness of the situation, I've taken a decision to send an envoy to be able to conduct the leaders of the Defence Force who have undertaken these operations, but also to meet with President Mugabe so that we have a more clear picture of what is happening in Zimbabwe. I will also be sending an envoy to, the pres to His Excellency President <clears throat> of Angola to brief him as the chairperson of the organ of SADC on peace and security so that there is a closer interaction between us and the Zimbabweans. I am hoping that the Defence Force will be able to respect the constitution of Zimbabwe as well as the people of Zimbabwe so that this situation does not go beyond <clears throat> uh, the situation where it is now, particularly because we are now in contact with them as well as the President. We are hoping that this situation is going to be controlled so that peace and stability comes back to Zimbabwe.